what we are really recognizing, though, is that heroism, everyday heroism, that without seeking heroism, uh, and the faith in the goodness of humankind, it's an everyday aspect of the characters of the individuals that are seated here in front of you right now. You know, heroes come in many different names and shapes and sizes, and, you know, from different roles, uh, unexpected, expected, uh, but they all teach us something. And the six individuals we are with here uh, today teach us how to act, how to live, and how to be brave. They show us the meaning of sacrifice and the dedication of a higher calling, even though they did not know maybe that they were going to get into that, but it developed. It's not easy to be a, an everyday hero, but our arteries have shown that it's not only possible, it's necessary in our society. It's necessary here in Pennsylvania and across the country. They committed themselves to the idea that character and integrity makes success truly inevitable. Each of the recipients have led lives of purpose that set an example, not just for this generation, but for the generations to come. And by honoring these six individuals today, we are acknowledging them as symbols of a spirit of resilience and determination in the cause of progress for all people. I go out and find community partners within the community to help with some of the needs of the ladies that I can't particularly assist in. Uh, like I said, such as GED, the employment part, I go out and talk to employers in the community that uh, will help our ladies when they come to them. We do interviews, we can, uh, partner with CareerLink for interviewing, so when the ladies get there, they're ready with every part they need. The also uh, last part of that is after ladies graduate, we still continue to uh, mentor the ladies. I think it's in recognition of um, 12 years at the Heinz History Center and 22 years overall in working in museums and um, being a historian of African American history, uh, being a museum curator as well as an archivist and preserving um, African American history in the Commonwealth. I really just try to, uh, to to give back to the community that's given me so much. And uh, with, with our, our organization at Stampede, we've partnered with uh, some, some local uh, businesses um, really to, to push the, the envelope forward with um, childhood obesity and uh, healthy, healthy lifestyles. We're a 39-year-old nonprofit, all-volunteer community service agency, and since our inception in 1975, we have provided programs for low-income, disadvantaged youth in the Pittsburgh community. Most notably, a nationally recognized program, the Connie Hawkins Summer Basketball League, the Franco Harris Football Camps, and the Willie Stargell Awards Banquet, a host of programs that annually present opportunities to build a champion spirit in young people. Uh, we have a motto, champions aren't born, they're made through desire, determination, and dedication. So we use old school method of coaching and teaching to get young people to adhere to the principles of respect and love and move them forward to uh, better opportunities for their lives. Public service, the nonprofit world, and not only the field of sports, but the business of sports too. At this time, I know some of you are here for the very first time. And so I wanted to just see any here. Uh, Karen, I didn't see any that made it today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in his spare time, he has worked uh, here in Harrisburg with Pinnacle Health, this country, and women we all should be participating in. Uh, they call him William Neal in my, uh, that's more than my age, says he was fast, too. <laughs> now it's a kid's segment on ABC 27 News. And, uh, one of the things that I've added is, uh, since our individuals have seated here in front of you right now. You know, heroes come in many different ways. interviewer that he sees his job is not simply to display what's known. Where's my box to stand up? <laughs> Mark, he was a seventh round draft pick by the New Orleans Saints, and seven seasons later, he became the all time. But he can play. Yeah. Mr. Neal is not only a leader in the nonprofit field, he strides against breast cancer annual walk. She assists at the Central Pennsylvania Food Bank, the Lupus Foundation. She served as Philadelphia chapter president of the Pennsylvania Prison Society for eight years. 
correctional facility, and from there he has expanded his knowledge, shared his talents, and offered his leadership, and most importantly, how to develop alternatives to prison that will reform offenders.